Hello, KMath learners! Welcome to our YouTube channel, Learn Math Beach. This is 2020 MTOP Reviewer Grade 4 Elimination Rounds Part 3. Problem number 11 A kilogram of rambutan costs 90 pesos. Lana has 700 pesos. How much money will be left with Lana if she buys 5.5 kilograms? So, step 1 guys, multiply 90 pesos times 5.5 kilograms. Kaya, iko convert muna natin ang 5.5 into decimal. 5.5 equals 5.5. So, 90 pesos times 5.5 is equivalent to 495 pesos. Step 2, subtract the product from 700 pesos. So, 700 minus 495 pesos is equivalent to 205 pesos. So, the final answer is 205 pesos. Next problem, please. Problem number 12, what is the largest number less than 800 that can be formed using the digits 7, 9, 2, and 8 without repeating the digits? So ang ating solution guys, kagaya na makikita natin, ang clue number 1 is there are 3 digits. How about clue number 2? Clue number 2 sabi sa problem, ang largest number daw less than 800. Ibig sabihin, ang hundreds na place value natin, yung hundreds digits natin, ay dapat number 7. Bakit? Kasi ang number 7, ang largest number, less than 8, dun sa ating options. How about the other 2 digits? A clue number 2 pa rin, largest number less than 800. Ibig sabihin, the next 2 digits uses 9 and 8. Kagamit siya ng number 9 at number 8. And since it is the largest number possible, it must be 98. So, the final answer is... 798. Hindi natin ginamit ang number 2 kasi ang tanong, ano ang pinakamalaking number less than 800 using the available digits. So, the final answer is 798. Next problem, please. Problem number 13. Vic has 2 more oranges than Marie. Marie has 7 oranges less than Carla. Vic has 7 more oranges than Betty. If Marie has 60 oranges, how many oranges are there in all? Kagaya na makikita natin sa screen, ang ating solution, meron tayong given, Marie has 60 oranges. So, M equals 60. By the way, let M be Marie, let V be Vic, let K be Carla, and let B be Betty. Basically guys, kung ano yung initial letter nila. Yun yung ginawa nating variable. So, sa step 1 natin guys, gagawa muna tayo ng mga equation based sa problem. Tapos, mamaya simplify natin. Okay? So, sabi sa problem, Vic has 2 more oranges than Marie. So, V equals M plus 2. Yun yung equation 1. How about equation 2? Marie has 7 oranges less than Carla. Kapag sinabing less than, minus yun. So, M equals K minus 7. So, kanina more than plus, ito naman less than minus. So, yung equation 2, M equals K minus 7. How about equation 3? Vic has 7 more oranges than Betty. Ibig sabihin, V equals B plus 7. So, pwede na tayo mag-simplify. V equals M plus 2. Ibig sabihin, substitute natin yung value ni M. V equals 60 plus 2. So, si Vic merong 62 oranges. How about equation 2? M equals K minus 7. 60 equals K minus 7. So, ito transpose natin yung negative 7, magiging positive 7. So, 60 plus 7 equals K. So, si Carla merong 67 oranges. Equation 3, V equals B plus 7. 62, kasi meron tayong value ni V kanina. Si V merong 62, kaya isa substitute na natin siya dito sa equation 3. 62 equals B plus 7. Transpose natin yung positive 7, magiging negative 7. 62 minus 7 equals B, 55 equals B. So, si Betty, merong 55 oranges. Step 2, i-add natin lahat. 60 plus 62 plus 67 plus 55 equals 244 oranges. So, the final answer is 244 oranges. Next problem, please. Problem number 14. You buy 3 pens that cost 9 pesos and 50 centavos each and 8 notebooks that cost 38 pesos and 50 centavos each. How much change will you get if you give the cashier 2 100 peso bills and 3 50 peso bills? So step 1 guys, para ma-solve ito, isosolve muna natin o ika-calculate natin ang cost of items bought o yung mga binili. Pagkatapos, ia-add natin sila. So sa pens, yung ball pen, mayroong tatlong binili. 
na tig 9 pesos and 50 centavos. So, 950 times 3 equals 28 pesos and 50 centavos. Meron ding walong notebooks na binili. 38 pesos and 50 centavos ang isang notebook. So, times natin sila, 38 pesos and 50 centavos times 8 equals 308 pesos. So, kung i-add natin sila, ang lahat ng total value ng cost of items ng binili ay 336 pesos and 50 centavos. So ngayon, alamin naman natin step 2 kung ilan yung pera na binigay natin sa cashier. Sabi sa problem, meron tayong 2 100 peso bills. So 2 times 100 equals 200. Tapos 3 50 peso bill. So 3 times 50 equals 150. So i-add natin sila, 200 plus 150 equals 350 pesos. So ngayon step 3, Subtract the total value bought from the money given to cashier. So, 350 pesos minus 336 pesos and 50 centavos equals 13 pesos and 50 centavos. So, the final answer is 13 pesos and 50 centavos. Next problem, please. Last but not the least, problem number 15. How many three-fourths are there in six? So, ibig sabihin guys, step 1 natin sa ating solution, i-convert mo natin ito into mathematical expression. Ang kahulugan nito guys, how many three-fourths are there in six is ganito. Six divided by three-fourths. So, meron tayong rule in division of fractions. Step 2 natin guys, find the reciprocal of the divisor that is the reciprocal of 3 fourth. Ang reciprocal ng 3 fourth ay 4 over 3. Ibabalik tad lang natin ang numerator at denominator. Tapos, proceed na tayo sa multiplication. So, 6 over 1 times 4 over 3. So, makakansel lang 6 at 3 kasi 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, magiging, ang mangyayari niyan is 2 over 1 times 4 over 1. So, ibig sabihin equals 2 times 4. So, the final answer is 8. Okay, so maraming salamat sa panunod ng video na ito. Kung nakatulong sa iyo, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Learn Math Page. Pakiturn on na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa ating mga future and exciting na uploads. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because in our channel, you will find and learn a simple and clear explanation to math lessons and ideas and also a step-by-step -step solution to math problem solving skills. Para ma-improve mo rin ang iyong problem solving tulad ng mga MTOP contests and other math-related topics. Kaya laging tandaan ang ating outro message, every problem there is and there's always has a solution. So love lots, keep smiling, and keep learning. Bye! Pakiabangan mo sa susunod ang part 4, 5, and so on. Salamat!